What's going on, y'all? This be your boy, Scotty by Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess, where we talk about celebrity gossip, hot topics, and all things reality TV based. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful Sunday afternoon, and I attend on doing the exact same. What is going on, you guys? Okay, now make sure you guys tune in after the Real Housewives of Atlanta for Candy Speak on it because my girl, my big sis. My chocolate goddess, Jamie Destiny, will be on there, honey, okay? I was just with Jamie just last night, okay? And we had a, a great time last night. It was me, her, Jamar, House of Aaron, Tramiel, me and my other friends. Like, we had us a great time last night. So make sure you guys are tuned in to that. Support my girl, Jamie. That's all we do up here to support the Jamie Destiny brand, honey, okay? So make sure you guys get into that, all right? So, um, but it's, like I said, it's nice to see all of the content creators that started in the 2010s because I know that um, Jamie started in like mid 2010s, like, like around maybe like 2016, 2017. I think that's when she started. And, um, you know, me and Bunny started in her early 2010s. Like I started 2010, she started 2011. And to see all of us being able to get these type of opportunities and things like that is really amazing. So, you know, even when I, it, that's why it's so easy for me to celebrate when my, my fellow counterparts or people that I've worked with or people that I've grown a good genuine friendship with is able to do things like that. Like it doesn't make me feel any, it didn't make me feel any kind of way when I saw Bundy get speak on it. And it make me feel any kind of way when I saw Jamie doing it. Cause I feel like when one, when one of us get it, we all get it. So shout out to both Jamie, that's me and Bundy blue two of my big sisters. Okay. Y'all know I love them too to death and um, I cannot wait to see them do more. Okay. So uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the mess for today. And this mess is involving Bill Collective. Okay, now this is about Bill Collective um, stars um, Selena Johnson and Miss So Gucci Williams. Okay, Miss Selena, Miss 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 Sophia Shante So Gucci Williams. Okay, now this is also coming from the Urban Bill Mag, just like the last one from my last video, and it states that So Gucci is saying that editing made her look like the aggressor in the altercation with Miss Selena Johnson, okay? Now, this is what was said. So, we all know that Sophia So Gucci is currently involved in one of the biggest controversies of the season. She's not on good terms with Miss Selena, and prior to Bill Collective, JJ and Selena became well known for their appearances on Bring It, right? So, they appeared to be in a good place back then as they co-parented their daughters. So Latrice did not think that it would be an issue to invite Selena to her event, especially since they had been at the same events with no drama prior. But things went left when Selena and Soguchi um, got into this physical altercation. And then, you know, Selena called Soguchi out and, and called her out. And then Soguchi responded with insults. So she went on to tell Selena that she don't have time to talk to an extra. So at that point, Selena told So Gucci that she was married to JJ first and that she was on television before So Gucci even knew what a damn bill collector was, honey. And so Selena and told So Gucci that she would always come after her. So we already know what happened, okay? We do know what happened. They got into a physical altercation. Now, interestingly, interestingly enough, there's been many conversations on social media about who fans really think started that altercation. Some think Selena did it by herself by confronting So Gucci about not speaking. Some have accused others have accused So Gucci of starting the violence by walking up to Selena, threatening to throw a drink at her. This is the perspective that Miss Sanjay Williams shared on X. Now, So Gucci had something to say about this perspective recently on social media. She addressed this fan. She addressed this after a fan pointed out their annoyance with other cast members blaming Selena and not calling out So Gucci for her role in the audience. Instead, they have labeled So Gucci as the victim. And So Gucci has filed charges dividing her blended family even farther. Now, an ex user um, wrote, at So Gucci 007. Now, the folks been standing with you even though we watched you walk back to Selena ready to fight but it's hard to do when you keep reaching to make Latrice Rogers one so horrible is Marie Abstin paying you so then that's when so Gucci responded y'all only seen the edited version I was literally trying to walk off violence is not what the network stands for believe me it was looked at closely okay 
So that was what so that was that is what so Gucci had to say about this fight in regards to Miss Selena Johnson. Now she said that it was edited. She it, it was edited in a way to make her look like she was the aggressor in this fight. But this is what I'm going to say about this situation. And I have a very unbiased standpoint when it comes down to this because this is coming from a person that actually likes so Gucci um based off of what I've seen before. And you know like I said she did an interview with Jamar and I last year for the second season of Bill Collector. She was very nice very prompt on time needless to say other people wasn't but i ain't gonna go there but anyway you know she um she was able to you know she was nice but this season she's coming in hot and strong I'm, i don't know if she's doing this because she did not really get a lot of light last season you know we didn't really get to see much of her life until towards the end but now she didn't came along and now she didn't you know she didn't spice it up she got a whole lot of camera time she didn't beef with latrice and then this whole selena thing but i'm gonna give you a on because i'm gonna give you an unbiased standpoint because i know i feel like a lot of people are siding with selena because they know her from bring it and they love to own bring it so i feel like they are all siding with selena but i feel like they both had a part to play when it came down to the situation at hand they both had a part to play i feel like you know selena really could have let 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 it just be what it was so gucci don't want to speak Kyle, she ain't got to speak to you you ain't got to speak to her what is the point of speaking y'all don't with each other y'all don't fucking like each other so what is the fucking point of y'all even speaking to each other anyway you know what i'm saying and then you know selena i mean so gucci if she was gonna walk over there she could have did a general hello she could have said hey y'all that's all she could have said but she made it known that she wasn't fucking with selena at all and that's why she did what she did so no you know what i'm saying and then selena really could have let so gucci walk the fuck off and all that other stuff, it, it could have went differently on both ends. So ain't nobody innocent in this situation. You know what I'm saying? I think that a lot of people's annoyance with this whole situation is the fact that So Gucci is the one that went out there and pressed charges on Miss Selena Johnson. And now a lot of the people that was watching this show this season because they love Selena, they mad because she can't even come, she can't even film on the show and she can't come to the reunion due to the fact that you know what i'm saying that so gucci didn't press charges on her you know what i'm saying so i feel like i'm not saying that so gucci was the only aggressor in this situation because she wasn't selena was just as much as the aggressive as, as so gucci is but i think that everybody's issue is that so gucci is really playing this perfect patty victim like she ain't had no parts of the situation when she had all the smoke and wanted all the smoke in this situation so that's how i see it. that's what i get from it that's what i see from it you feel what i'm saying but that's really all i got so i just want to know what y'all got to say about that so with that being said this be your boy scott about nature tv be sure to like rate comment subscribe share this video and also click on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever a video drops and if you want to follow me on any form of social media my twitter my instagram and my tiktok will be down below you're welcome to all to follow me on all platforms with that being said you guys your boys are about here and until my next video i will talk to you good people a little bit later bye